Hello, my name is Chaz Davis. I'm Caleb Green. And today we're going to be working on our reverse engineering project. The product that we had was the Conair Ionic Turbo Style Hair Dryer. It's 1,875 watts and the purpose of our project was to conduct a thorough engineering analysis of this product. When we took the product apart we found that there were just a few basic parts to it. Uh, first off was the nichrome wire coiling. This part of the product is actually responsible for heating the air that as it passes through the product. Uh, another key component of it was the motorized fan. This part is responsible for moving the air through the product, pushing it past the coils and out with force so it's able to dry the hair. Uh, the insulation in the barrel is designed to keep the barrel from heating up too much so that the plastic doesn't melt and so that it doesn't burn the user. Uh, the electrical wiring, of course, carries electricity to all the different switches and to all the different parts of the product. Uh, the plastic exterior provides protection for all the interior components and gives it a sleek design. And the power cord brings electricity to all the different components of the wiring and all the different parts of the uh, product. Alright, here we have some internal views. Here we have the barrel of the product and inside that's the insulation portion. Right here we have the nichrome wiring and the wiring, the electrical wiring here and the electrical circuit as you can see right here. We have the motorized fan, obviously it's not in motion because we've taken it apart. And here another side view of the nichrome wiring, a side view of the electrical circuit alongside with the wiring, and then one more side view there. Up next we have Nehemiah Davis, he's going to address to us the marketability and comparison. As Chad said, I'm Nehemiah Davis and I'm just going to talk about the marketability of this product. The specific niche it was designed for is, um, it's, it's just supposed to be a, a hair dryer that is typical, it's, it's usable for anybody's hair, it, it won't damage your hair, it's, um, it's very good for home use and it's economically suitable. And uh, the higher priced models in comparison to our model, they usually have more wattage as up to 2300 watts which is really powerful and it gets really hot. They also have different settings allowing for different temperatures just as well as ours does. Um, the higher price models also have longer cords and they typically are more sleek and lightweight. They, there's one, the top model has, a, it's, it's less than one pound while ours is about two pounds. The lower price models, they have shorter cords, they're typically, they don't last as long, they're less durable, they also aren't as strong. Their, their wattage is as low as 100 watts and it, it's not powerful enough to dry your hair quickly. Ours is economically suitable and it's kind of in between both the high price and low price models because it both has a decent amount of wattage so it can dry your hair quickly and efficiently, but it also is not too much to burn your hair or anything like that and it doesn't cost too much. It's, it's, a, it's a good value. Ours costs um, anywhere from 20 to $25 and it, it, it's a very good value. Overall, our product is, I would recommend it for anybody using wanting a personal use that doesn't have to go to the salon every week to get their hair done. They can just use theirs at home for, and it'll last up to two years with the two year ones. Up next I have uh, Sean Sunday and he's going to talk about the pros and cons of this product. I'm Sean Sunday I'm going to talk about the pros and cons. Uh, one good thing about this product would be the nichrome wiring. It's, it's better compared to like iron or copper wiring. It heats, heats up faster. You know, it, you know uh, the next uh, pro would be the safety screen. It keeps things from getting stuck in the the product. Uh, one other good thing would be the uh, how much noise it it produces. It doesn't it wouldn't wake up your family in the morning while you're trying to use it. It's also pretty efficient with uh, 1875 watts. It's uh it's powerful enough to heat up quickly, but it's not gonna burn you or nothing. Uh, some cons would be the cord length. Uh, the cord length is kind of short. Uh, probably a battery pack would probably uh, make this product a little bit better. Uh, the loop placement is kind of awkward for you to hold it. Uh, next thing uh, I'm going to talk about is how it works with Chaz Davis. Alright, I'm pretty sure you're wondering how this product works and I'm going to explain it to you. In its plainest and simple of states, this product is designed to speed up the evaporation process. And what, that, what I mean by that is it's designed to speed up the process in which the water is taken away from the hair. And there are two key components 
with using this product and this product without these two components would not be able to work you need the motorized driven fan of course and then you need to help the heating elements which is the nichrome wiring that Caleb mentioned earlier the electrical circuit is that comes into play when you plug your product into the outlet the power cord is plugged into a wall and the circuitry then draws current from the wall into the product but the product cannot work unless there's the on switch is activated and that will close the circuit and allow for the current to be dispersed throughout the appliance and as the current is dispersed throughout the appliance there's a little knob on there which determines the speed quality which you want there's a slow quality which allows the fan to rot at, rotate at a slow rate and produce a heat that's not really as fast or as powerful as, as the higher rate is. And with the higher rate, of course, the fan will rotate at a much faster rate. And the electrical current also, the wiring is connected to the nichrome, which allows the wiring to heat up. And as the fan circulates the air, the air flows over this nichrome wiring, and then force convection occurs. What force convection is, that is when the, the air, the cool air, being brought in and sucked in from the fan is dispersed in through the barrel and over the nichrome wiring. The nichrome wiring then heats up the air, the air molecules are heated, and then that air is taken beyond the nichrome wiring and dispersed outside of the barrel into the hair. And then that's the plain and simple state of how it works. And I would like all my members to join me. I'm Chaz Davis. Sean Sunday. Caleb Green. Nehemiah Davis. And this is our reverse engineering project. Thank you.